This, Mr. President, is a remarkable record. Good morning, London. You're listening to Studio FM on 92.7, and I'm waking you up with a bit of house-style acid. Saturday night in South London, hundreds of young people are gathering for the latest craze, an acid house party in a disused warehouse. Coaches will take them to a destination which has deliberately been kept secret to evade the police. It's one of the, of the biggest hypes that have come on the music scene in recent years. Drugs, sex, sensational. Some newspapers have called Acid House Music a sinister and evil cult which lures young people into drug taking. What do you know about Acid House Music? It's definitely a drugs related craze. That's why. Those of them trying to get one a bit awfully shy with yeah. I presume they do friends with dancing, that kind of thing. Probably out of control, not behaving like normally they would. All them lights flashing don't do you any good, are they? Oh, they're rather This is acid, man. Only a mile away from the warehouse, the bus is intercepted by the police. The party's been closed down, finished. We know about it, it's all finished. We've taken it all down. The police told us that nobody had complained, and there was no evidence of drugs. A lot of the police here are very understanding. I don't think they really want to be here. I think they've got better things to be doing, you know. The organisers say that in two weeks' time they'll put on another secret warehouse party, and the game will begin again. This goes out to the newspapers and the media. Acid isn't all bad. first heard this stuff, it was just blew your bollocks off. It was a revolution. Some, you knew things were going to change. Clear out all the nonsense and make space for exciting new stuff. When it first started, it was really different. The music was like nothing else, really, that had been around. All of a sudden, just overnight, the whole thing exploded. Peace, happiness, and, and yeah, there was a lot of love in the air. I can believe that that was the power of what was going on. Millwall and Chelsea dancing together, hugging each other. You get black, white, rich, poor, everybody, everyone really coming together. And that excitement was contagious. People just wanted more and more of it. You couldn't control it. Once it was out of the bag, it was out of the bag. This is our land, this is our country, and we were a part here, why not? feel it, it can't be helped. It's amazing that 20 years on, the music is still going so strong and the love for the whole club scene. And that's a major achievement. <laughs> 